Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss carrier cells multiple axis with collision detection. So this protocol is actually a medium axis protocol. We are having a medium. So let me draw one example. So let's say we are having some nodes. So as you can see, this is a simple bus topology. So the thing is that there are four nodes are there okay and uh, the medium is single so when someone transmit any data and at the same time if some other party also transmitting other data so there will be a collision and when there is a collision in network um, it means that whatever is sent that is all waste okay because the collided frame they are no useful so what is carrier sense multiple access with collision detection so this protocol says that before transmitting first sense the channel now what's the meaning of sensing so the meaning of sensing is that let's say this node want to wants to send some data to another node so what it uh, it will do it will first check whether there is any other node is transmitting in this medium or not and how they are going to sense so when any node transmit any data so at that time as we know the in encoding part zero is uh, sent by some negative voltage and one is sent by some positive voltage so when it, there is no transmission in that time in network or in medium there is no signal and if there is no signal it means there is no energy so whenever node want to check whether someone is transmitting or not it will simply check the medium energy level so if there is no energy it means no one is transmitting so this is the sensing now if this node find find the channel free if finds channel free for small period of time so there is a particular small period of time if for that duration the medium is free it will be uh, consider that uh, medium is free and in that case send data okay if free so if a medium is free in that case data will be sent now what will happen if medium is not free so in that case node will wait for random amount of time okay uh, I'm sorry uh, not random amount of time it will wait uh, for this medium to be free medium to be free now someone might ask if uh, if every node was sensing the medium and then transmitting their data what are the chances of collision so the thing is that let's say this node sends the channel and uh, it finds that no one is transmitting at that time and it started sending data so let's say that data is uh, traveling through this medium and has not reached this medium now at that point of time this node also wants to send some data it will sense and what it will find it will find there is no energy in medium because this signal has not reached this node yet so this node also starts sending its data and when these two data are transmitted they will collide there will be a collision so in case of collision this protocol says that whenever a node transmit any data that node 
also constantly listening for the medium it will listen whether the network or whether the medium is having the same signal what i am transmitting or there is some other signal also present in the medium so in such case if uh, for the entire duration node is transmitting that data and node doesn't find any other signal in the medium node will find out that uh, the sent data is successfully delivered to the destination but now if a collision is detected so if collision detected so in this case what will happen stop transmitting because if there is a collision there is no use of uh, completing that transmission because that transmission has to be restarted again okay now <laughs> there was a collision these both nodes stopped their transmission now how much time they will wait should they transmit immediately or they will wait for a particular amount of time so the thing is that wait random amount of time so how this thing going to be ensured that both will wait random amount of time so here comes the exponential back off algorithm so this actually complete is binary exponential algorithm so let me show you what is that algorithm so binary exponential algorithm says that whenever there is a collision if collision then select a number in the range 0 2 to the power n minus 1 and what is n this is the number of collision So whenever there is a first collision, let's say a node started its transmission and experienced first collision, so in that case n will be 1. So if we put the value here, it will be 0 and 1. So this uh, interval having only two values. So that node, let's say node 1 first collision. Now this node 1 select a number from this interval and whatever that number is let's say k is the number that node will wait for that amount of time. So the meaning of this one is that whatever time is required to send 512 bits in the same medium multiply k. So if the node has selected 0 in that case no need to wait uh, but in case if 1 is selected then has to wait this time now let's say at the same time node 2 which also experienced the collision and this node 2 experienced third collision for the same transmission so what this node will do this node will select a value from this range and what is that 0 2 to the power 2 0 2 4 so in this range what are the values 0 1 2 3 so node 2 will select a number from this range so as you can see this interval is actually increasing exponentially as the number of collisions are increasing this interval also increasing exponentially and there is a limit so maximum number of collisions 
can be taken n equal to 10. So if a node is experienced more than this number of collision, so the, it will be considered the n. More than 10 will not be considered. So, so maximum range is 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3. So this is the range. Okay. So this is the binary exponential backup algorithm. Thank you very much for watching.